Ah, sneak attack. It's a surprise High Rollers. It's not really a surprise, it's every Sunday. You know when it's happening, so do I. It's High Rollers Day! Yay! I'm Dungeon Master Mark Short Cubes, member of the High Rollers Club. <laughs> uh, if you're watching this and you're a member of the High Rollers Club, up top. There we go. Uh, thanks for joining us. I am joined, as always, by my delightful players. We got Rhiannon, we got Trot, we got Kim. Hello. And then on the other side, we got a Tommy H and a Katie. Uh, and we're here to play some Dungeons and Dragons. We've got a new member for the club. This guy! I didn't, have it. I just, I didn't have it on the last It's because Kim's out. It's Kim's out, yeah. yeah. And Sorry. Rhiannon's out and Tom's out. It's because I threatened I Jeremy. Jeremy. Never never I'm in the yeah. Digimon club now, guys. That is a yeah. pretty sweet shirt. Rhiannon's shirt is Le Primo as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, love it. It's, I don't care about that. Uh, wrestling! 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 Uh, right, we, this is going to be a slightly shorter episode this week. We've got a couple of quick things, and we're going to get jumping straight to it. Hell yeah. Um, the main thing to mainly talk about is it, the shirt. It's still available. Maybe it's what still available. Um, go and this grab is actually Reese's top. Yeah, it's actually Reese. It is. Oh. No, it's stinky. It's very um, stinky. Yeah. 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 stinky as well. Uh, Freshmerch.fm. Go and grab it. Join the High Rollers Club shirt. Original OC. Do not steal. Uh, <laughs> and we'll see you in yeah. the club. Yeah. In the clubhouse, the secret clubhouse. When you buy the shirt, you get an invitation to the secret clubhouse. Yep. <gasps> secret when I was lock. walking here, someone said to me, nice shirt, and so therefore you should buy it you so you can it. get compliments yeah. from strangers on the exactly. street. Sure. That's what everyone wants, surely. That's what everyone wants. Yeah. Um, and that is it for this week. Uh, announcements. Not really any announcements this week. All right. We're going to jump uh, straight in to some dun duns, and we're going to get right into this because there's stuff going on today. Yeah. TBK! Dun -dun. Woo! Welcome back to High Rollers. Last time, champions of Rois took a brief respite following their battle against Sir Godric and the Order of the Blackened Rose. Equipment needed repairs, rest was taken. Romance was kindled, perhaps? Mm. But ultimately, the champions had to once again prepare for battle as they entered Kilara's demiplane to put her to rest. Entering the morning garden, the party have engaged with the Titan of Death, but soon realized that it would not be a simple affair. Using a discarded lantern and divine motes of light, Kalara has been weakened, but upon her return, she transported Valor away somewhere, leaving the party unprotected in her domain. And we jump back in into combat, my friends. Whoa. Um, Kalara Whoa. has Whoa. <laughs> just <laughs> taken her action, her turn, uh, Valor has vanished. Uh -huh. And you see the edges of the domain, pieces of the domain that Valor had been protecting you by kind of conjuring this place are beginning to break down. Quickly? Uh, so maybe, uh, we'll find <laughs> out. Um, the main way that this is represented, and luckily, Ayla, it is your mm -hmm. turn. Mm -hmm. uh, at the start of your turn, because you are not protected by Valor, you take 10 Planar damage. Oh, Two. what? Unavoidable, oh. unresistable damage. Unresistible. Cannot be resisted. Oh my be god, we did not need another any thing. Way. Wow. Um, wow. Oh. As long as you do not have Valor's protection, that damage. So we're tearing away as well. By five. Every, Every combat round. Oh, oh my god. god. So if you do not rescue Valor, that damage will continue to go I don't up. I where she's gone. What? 
<laughs> That's a great question. The portal closed, right? Uh, um. So she was just snatched away. The last thing you heard was a yeah, muffled, like a scream, like as she was being pulled, yanked away. <laughs> Teleportation magic. Um, Rhiannon, mm-hmm. you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Right. Stressful, man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stressful being us. I'm trying to think. Okay, all right. No, no. <laughs> I thought that something had gone wrong, but uh, that's absolutely fine. She's in a thinking uh, place. Thinking. I'm, a thinking I'm place. in my mind palace. Uh, oh, wow, There's okay. a lot of screaming it's empty. there. empty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we currently have the Morning Garden, uh, which uh, if you are watching and podcast listeners, you'll have to imagine it. But it is a mausoleum type garden. There are various kind of like tombs. Uh, there are various sarcophagi. We have iron fences, trees, a couple of portals now, and several shrines to Siaska, including a large statue of Siaska in the middle. Um, Kalara has transported herself. Uh, those of you who are watching on video, uh, I did stay up till 1.30 in the morning repainting, so it looks a bit nicer Aww. now. Aww. Um, it does look very nice. And uh, yeah, we jumped to Ayla. So yeah, you, if you've taken that 10 points of planar damage, uh, it is now your turn, Ayla. Just for the benefit of everybody as well, a reminder that I am concentrating on Holy Aura again yes. Oh, yes. As, as of Advantage last turn. Advantage on stuff. Advantage, Advantage on, on all saving throws. Every saving throw, disadvantage when getting attacked, and if you are hit, you uh, burst by with light. By undead creatures. By undead creatures, you burst with light and they are blinded until the spell That's ends. Cool. If they fail a saving throw? If they fail a yeah, constitution yeah. 22 saving yeah, throw. Which the minions will automatically do. Yeah. Can you imagine writing out all of the different things that are going on in this specific fight. No. No. Why have you? No. Oh, well, I, bet, I know who does. <laughs> yeah. The HR Wiki team. <laughs> like, I imagine like man- imagine the layers deep. Oh like, yeah. Imagine, imagine yeah, yeah. the stat block of all these enemies and the things that are happening. Yeah, you're running this. What you're describing is prep. <laughs> yes. <that's>, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine literally what. Shut up. Right. Imagine spelling things right for the Wiki right. team. Right. <laughs> uh, oh. so, Rick Gideon. Who knows. What would you like Didrick. to do? I'm going to hit the banshee that's in front of me, please. Okay. I'm going to, no, first thing I'm going to shout at Nova. What do we do? How do we get her back? I don't know. Nova, you're smart. Fix it. And then I'm going to hit the, okay. the banshee. Sure. Uh, so 11 plus 15 to hit. Hits. Uh, 18 damage on the hammer plus one lightning. Uh. I think that one already took. It did, yeah. Some. Uh, which is enough to destroy it. Perfect. When it destroyed, when the banshee is destroyed, it drops. A moving light. Um, it also deals you three radiant points of radiant damage when it's destroyed. Um, damage. Um, I will grab that moat, mm-hmm. and I will actually, yeah, I'll I'll run and grab that moat. Mm-hmm. You just touch it, it starts following you. Yes. Is that by how many? Five, While you're working it out, Sentry, you're going to be next, followed by Nova. <clears throat> I'm last. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that moat, run up to the next banshee that's close to Sentry, mm-hmm. just as... Five, um, 10, 15, 20. And then I'm going to hit that one with my second attack. Okay, yep, absolutely. That's a 19 plus 15 to hit. Now what hit? That is... 21 damage on the hammer plus three lightning. Uh, so that is going to be half because this thing does yep. have resistance. Not enough to destroy it, sadly. That's uh, okay. Um, and I'm going to... Bonus action left and some movement. Uh... Okay, yeah, I can't get to Nova, never mind. I'm gonna um, just bonus action aura of Stormy. Fails the saving throw, automatically, as it is a minion. Mm-hmm. Minion! Minion! <laughs> 18, 19, 20. 21, 22. Enough to destroy this banshee as well. Sentry and Ayla both take three points of radiant damage. Sauce so bad! And another moat of light is dropped. Hell yeah. So nice. I've got a moat and there's a moat there. Yes. And there's five moats stored in the... There's five in the lantern, lantern at the moment. At the moment, yeah. And I have one on me. Yes. Oh. Max currently has two. Uh, the banshee next to him has one stolen. We currently have two moats of light down in this far corner as well. I'm far away from going her. to pick up a second I've moat. one on me, right? 
because it involves the charisma or wisdom. No, I think you saying. used all yours. No, I put three <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, he kept three. Oh. He put three in and kept and one kept back. Oh, yeah, he was quad motor. Oh, yeah, he quad motored. Okay. All right, yeah. Yeah. quad so motor. Quasi-motor. Quasi motored. Ayla, end of turn? <laughs> uh, end of turn, thank you. All right, at the end of your you. turn, <laughs> uh, we are going to <laughs> have... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the bells really are ringing, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah, at the end of your turn. Oh. I believe Kim asked for this. <laughs> what? Off screen! Hold her hand up. Off screen, yeah. I asked for it. The scales <laughs> must be balanced. And you watch as the spectral scales with the number three appears. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot to quickly cut out another one of these. Let's see if I can quickly tear one. To... That's okay. Well, last time, after three. Well, yeah, everybody remember turns. how this hurt us last time because we weren't in the bulls. Uh, I think Mac, we hit scale Quill down. and Sentry. Mm -hmm. You have a choice. You can either um, use your reaction if you have it available to move to the edge, or you can make a dexterity saving throw to not use your reaction but potentially fail and, and remain. Uh, oh, so I'm staying. You're going to stay? Okay, I'm cool, staying. staying, I'm staying. Max will stay as well. He Wonderful. will look at the two of you staying and is like, very well, and he will stay where he is. Uh, is is Ayla in this one as well? Nope. No. I, I probably need I, someone I, in R1, so yeah. I can't. I can't. Yeah. It's there just as I'm gonna, I can I'm get gonna there. shoo Ayla away to the other one. I can't. I, can't, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't. The circle appears around your feet, not including Ayla. I no, do, I know, but I, I'm. I'm Go to that one. Go to that one. Okay. I know, but. Um, oh, God, that's a. It's yeah. gonna run out, yeah. Sentry. I'm At the start of your turn, you take like 10 planar damage. Uh, sorry, Ayla, you should have also taken 8 necrotic when you moved from your Shadowbringer stacks. Well. Uh, <laughs> and you technically gained another Shadowbringer stack as well, as you started in oh, dim light. Dim light, yeah. These stacks, man. Stacks, stacks on stacks. stacks. Mm. Sentry. Whittling down. Uh, I should probably heal, but... Uh, um, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna try something. Um. Sentry's going to crouch on the ground, put her hand on the floor, and she's going to try and sense the roots of the trees and try a commune with nature and ask where Valor's gone. Ooh! Very cool. Mm. Uh, so, uh, what do... And the trees just answer... You just get that question if they... You, it's like I instantly gain region. knowledge of up to three facts of my choice about the following subjects as they relate to the area. So I can find about terrains and bodies of water, prevalent plants, minerals, uh, powerful celestials, fey, fiends, elements, or undead. Yeah. Um, influence from other planes of existence, yep. buildings. Yep. Even though this is a demi-plane of Clara's making, there are plants and nature here. So... This functions. Uh, the words, the, the nature spirit here is a haunted, whispering voice, um, but you will get the response of the daughter of Siaska is within one of the god tombs of our mistress. God tombs? Far to the east of here. Uh, oh. And it's indicating this. Clara's going to get all the titans and bury them here. Oh. Uh, or put their souls to rest here. Maybe? That's um, cool as hell. Yeah. That just is your information. Though, Ambitious. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's she get. gets the biggest one. Cool. Yeah. Um, I, I'll, I'll shout. Um, Va uh, Valor's gone to one of the, the god tombs in the east. That's what I've just learned from the trees. I don't know what that means. Is that east? That is east, yes. To, right east. Yes. to, to, the, to my Lucius and Nova. Left. That's where so that one next to the portal. Yeah, where the circle the is. The one next to the portal. Yeah. Okay. Anything else, Sentry? That was your action? Um, oh, it's not the mausoleum. I don't have any potions on me or anything. Then, bonus two, action. Two. I'm going to bonus action. Uh, yeah. Where is it? Where's it gone? Regain a spell slot thingy. Harness divine power, there we go. Yeah. Regain a level two spell slot. A Just action. so you know, I'm not going to rectify it this instance because it's a great way of solving this problem. Commune with nature is normally a minute to cast. We're going to say that because you're using it to solve the mechanics of this, it's fine. Okay. But just in the future, it's a minute to cast right. Commune with nature. We'll, we'll let it work for now. Okay. The RP was cool. Yeah, mm. exactly. It's a cool RP, but the the I was just thinking, I was like, somebody's going to point out and be like, it's a minute to cast! But it's fine. So 
Balance rule you. Of, rule of cool. It works in this encounter. Uh, no, no, it's right. So the, too many spells. Only a few spells have like longer casting time, so it's easy to yeah. miss it. Um, but yeah, so action. Bonus action. I uh, harness divine power. Harness divine power. End of turn. That's my turn. Yeah. All right. Uh, the only remaining banshee uh, is going to attack Quill. Protect Quill, oh. please. Uh, oh, it's got disadvantage anyway. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, true. Uh, so it's going to be a miss with its three. Cool. Misses. Uh, <laughs> Nova Vija. This has gotten very complicated. I knew exactly what I wanted to do, but these scales things is complicating. Have That's they? Because you asked for it. You said, oh, Mark, please bring the cool scales move back. I was like, I'm obliged. Said it, said it off camera. Yeah. That's Called when you in. it's not on not, camera. It didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't happen. All right. So what would you like to do on your turn? Uh, please take 10 planar damage. I have done. Uh, uh, also, I need to take 5 radiant damage. 5 radiant damage, as you currently carry the lantern. Um, and you said off screen, so it didn't happen. That Because yes. I picked up the lantern, it's taken away any shadow. When you picked up the lantern, <coughs> you removed all of your stacks of shadow. Room. Okay. Which I didn't have anyway, because... You um, had one. Yeah. Uh... I want that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we've got scales in between us. So what's it. the countdown on the scales? The, uh, sorry, yeah, so after centuries go, the countdown goes to two. Goes to two, <laughs> you hear shit. You this, like, dollar okay, bell, like, dong. You're the lantern. Dong. we got to get in, we got to get in the lantern, Lucius. No, we got to get into the scales. I can't fit in there. we got to get into the scales. <laughs> um, can I... Oh, I really want to... I don't know if Mark will allow this. Out of character conversation, very quick. It's fine. Take away stacks or hit Kalara's shadows. Stacks. Also, absolutely <laughs> fine to have those tactical <clears throat> discussions out mm. of character. That's never a problem. Yeah. Well, for your benefit, I have eight Shadowbringer stacks. You're such a little bitch about it. Oh, wind, wind, wind. Oh, you guys are the one who has none. <laughs> yeah. it's like, Thank you for reminding I mean, me. Sentry gains another shack. Okay. <laughs> cool. What if I mm -hmm. sent Tiangon mm -hmm. to uh, the two? So they can interact with the king. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, you, or, can you not whisper for the audience, please? <laughs> <laughs> or, Tian Gong goes into the scale circle. He doesn't, doesn't count. They don't count because um, no, they, they went through the scales. You go and open the tomb and then do the body switch. Because I'll drop the lantern. If, and if I'll if pick I, it up next If turn. I teleport, I can't use the lantern. Lucius can pick it up. But Lucius can pick it up and that would help. Um, I communicate that in six seconds. Yeah. Can I send Tiangong over to the tomb? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to do the news of Can Tiangong, we know Tiangong can attack. Can Tiangong do things like open doors? Because <laughs> I don't know if they can. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, they have a manifest. strength score. I don't believe they AC do. AC 20, one hit point, immunity to all conditions. If it has to make a saving throw, it uses my bonus. It's my size, occupies its space. Translucent great image. I can command it. It can teleport. I think you can make attacks from it, but it can cannot attack. do things like open objects or yeah. do things like that. I think that, I mean, because when it attacks, it's like a magical kind of like, yeah, yeah. It's not like an actual duplicate. Um, so yeah, unfortunately. So if you want to like wreck on that and not have Tango move there, that's fine. But I don't think they physically can interact with mm -hmm. space and objects. Yeah. Okay. Um. I I want Nova to move um into the scale mm -hmm. pan. Um. I have a feeling if it's not completely so balanced, it's not gonna work for anyone. Yeah. Okay. And then um. Can I bonus action? Oh. I'm gonna bonus action use Grace of Light on Lucius before I move. Okay. <coughs> All right. I so uh, you raise the lantern and oh. spending some of the light, which slowly dims. You watch. Oh, actually, they have to be within five feet. Of you. Before I move. Oh, in. before you move. Sorry. So as before, you step into Ooh. the scales. Uh, you lift up the lantern. It dims slightly, and a, a kind of cascade of light falls over Lucius. And all of that clinging darkness that's been clinging to you as these, as you've been standing in the darkness as these creatures have hit you, is burnt away. It becomes like flickering embers as Lucius loses oh, all you. of his Shadowbringer stacks. 
Bonus action. Very cool. So that was my bonus action and my movement. Mm -hmm. um, I want to action attack um, from Tiangong. I want Tiangong to like attack the lid of the tomb to try and open it. Uh, Would that I... like try to try and like smash the lid open? Yeah, make a make an attack roll. <laughs> He says, well, violently shaking, shaking his head. head. No, it's like me thinking, it's the, in the brain juice going. <laughs> Slosh yeah, it around. I love this. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Actually, I'm just thinking, would... do I? So where I was from Lucius, do I have enough movement to go to the t coffin and then go back into the circle? Probably. Like, go 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15, no. Not enough. Oh, you okay. basically get back to your current spot. Yeah. 5, 10, uh, 15, 5, 10, 15. So I, w I was thinking about levitating, but... Um... Levitating wouldn't really help you. Well, to lift the lid. Oh, right. Get the lid to lift. Um... Come here, I'm going to get to Yangon to try and open the, the sure. lid Make by attack attacking roll. the lid. Yeah. It's going to be a no, isn't it? A uh, natural 20, though. <laughs> 20, so do do damage with a crit. So normal, uh, normal damage, so um, max so the base dice. So 1d8 plus 9. That would come 17, mm -hmm. plus another d8. Uh, pl uh, plus 4 from the force damage on Tiangong, the 1d4. So, yep, so that becomes 21, and now an extra d8 and an extra d4. Um, I've got the wrong dice. Yep. Uh, 7. So 21 plus 7, 28. 1. Uh, 29. 29. And then plus 9 from the... You've already added 1 to 8 plus 9. nine. Okay. You've already added uh, 29 <coughs> points of damage. Stone sarcophagus. That's attack number 1. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think that that cleaves a chunk. It would be resistant to the slashing damage. Force okay. damage, not so much. Yeah, it cleaves a chunk of it. Not enough to open it, though. Can they, what can they see inside? Ah, uh, it's too thick. It's like literally cutting through the lid of the, the sarcophagus itself. Oh, a natural one. Oh, <laughs> yes. damn it. The highs it's, and the lows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thirteen plus four to no, hit. No, not on a stone sarcophagus. This is like thick stone made yeah. from this thing. So like this blade just scrapes against it. Has damaged it, but not enough to like break the lid or open it. Well, to try. Um, you, you, you only perceive through Tiangong if you choose to, right? Like, yeah. you have to spend, okay, yeah. So. I'm gonna, can I uh, use my special, uh, so it's no action, um, unleash incarnate to do one more attack for Tiangong? Okay. Sure. Okay. 17 plus 13. That will hit. Um, oh, I rolled an 8. So 9, uh, what's 8 plus 8? 16. 16. 16. Um, what, how much of that is force damage? 1. Oh. Um, I'd say it's close to breaking but ah. as they're cutting through it. There's, you know, these chunks are kind of being slewn off of it, but this is a thick, heavy, like, you know, reliefed sarcophagus, um, and it's yeah. cut through. It's close to breaking, but not, not enough. Would you allow an Eldritch Smite? Uh, I mean, you would have to, yeah, if that's part of making the attack when you hit, as you roll damage, so you apply the Eldritch Mine. So you can still do it, but ideally you do it before I tell you how much is done. Well, now I don't know whether or not to do it. Well, then I would say don't do it. I've like, done quite a lot in my turn, so yeah. yeah. It, it's more like you can't wait <coughs> to see if I'm like, oh, it worked, and then Eldritch yeah, Mine. Yeah. You have to be it like, I'm going to Eldritch Mine as well. Feels yeah. cheap. Yeah. So yeah, unfortunately, Tiangong cuts through it, but not quite enough. Um, oh, but it certainly will make it easier to lift mm -hmm. um, for anybody who attempts it. Oh, I can lift it. Uh, yes, it did look like it would have required a strength check uh, to actually physically. Oh, I'm so strong. It. So you've damaged it enough to make it easier. Uh, too strong. End of turn. End of turn. Yeah. The countdown on the scales yes. goes to one. One. I I don't think one, it's gonna it, work. <laughs> sentry. It went three, two when Sentry took a go. Nova just took her oh, goes to one. Shit. Okay. It's not gonna work because I can't. Uh, I had it, a, I had a solution balanced. to that, but I think after Lucius's go, it's gonna. Yeah. It's gonna uh, happen. Well, it's Maximilian goes beforehand. Yeah. It's definitely it's gone by the gone. time it gets to my turn. Uh, Maximilian will turn on the shadowy banshee that is in here with you. Um, and oh, they probably add to the 
weight but of it as you well. Can go. No, it's not. You can leave the pan to balance it. Sure. Um, wait, well, it's not going to be my turn. I'm not going to have a turn before it happens. Max. Max. Yes? Go to Nova. Very well. I will finish attacking this thing. Uh, um, he does have the maul now, actually, doesn't he? Yeah, uh-huh. he has the hammer he has magic. The magic. Yep, so that's going to be. I was not I picking up the perfect. solution there. <laughs> Sorry, the mall. Yes. <laughs> Dude. I think I said I should leave the thing. So you should just first leave attack, yeah. it. His second attack, yeah. which he misses. Yeah. Uh, Max goes to leave. He'll walk to the edge. Oh, hits an invisible barrier. Oh, oh so, well, my solution wouldn't have worked. Uh, impacting against a similar uh, field of force that you've encountered before, a force cage um, that you've encountered before, a barrier of force. Once okay. you've entered into it, uh, you cannot leave it as if it is affected by a force cage. I mean, we know what happens to people outside the scales, mm. but what happens to no, people inside when it's in balance? The countdown goes to zero. About to find out. Lucius, no, Lucius, it goes after the. It's it once it hits oh, zero, it has to take right, another okay. player's it's still not really balanced. Yeah, so Lucius. Um, Might as well. Ma. Can I? Yes. Call me by my true title. <laughs> One sec. Oh, just Marcus. waiting for the like wonderful DM, my favorite person in the world. Please, Master. <laughs> Master, please, can I have five turns? <laughs> five, ten, fifteen to get to the tomb. So then the same amount to get back to where I started, yes. which is not in the circle. I was going to pick up Valor and put us both in the circle, but... Mm. Play not. Could, action could you action dash? Yes. Play not but damage Would you not consider me opening the sarcophagus as an action? Maybe. Nova I don't think it's going to matter either Nova damaged it pretty badly. Yeah, all right, I'm going to run towards the tomb, okay. Captain's Command forward to just finish the job. Are you trying to attack it or do you want to just open it? I'm just running at it. That doesn't answer my question. Do you <laughs> it? Open it. I'm running at it actionless. Nope. <laughs> I need you to pick one of those two options, Chris Trot. I'm just going to run to it and barge it off with my arm. So you're attacking you're... it? Just barge it off. <laughs> <laughs> just open it. Just you open know? it. I'm going to open it. Yeah. Right, okay. Well, I can't get in with it if I don't open it. 10, 15. Well, you could have attacked it. Um, you run up. Uh, because of the damage dealt, I would say make a athletics check for me. Can this be as a line? bonus action? Okay, if I if I succeed, can I augment what happens? Maybe. What what is the roll? Uh, athletics, as a bonus action. I'll allow it as a bonus action because Nova damaged the lid. With a natural twenty. Natural twenty. Oh. Go ahead. So you what? want to augment it? I grip where the crack is. Yep. And Captain America log. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Where does the strength the come from? <laughs> Not quite. It, more that, like, as it's breaking apart, Lucius it, like, crumbs, pulls the crumbles, broken parts. Something. Like, uh, you know, he doesn't actually crack the stone himself. The stone was <laughs> damaged, but he yeah. pulls the stone free. Um, and inside, uh, when you re- at first, it is a black void until you open it, at which point suddenly it becomes a hollowed sarcophagus with Valor inside, who's like, ah, ah, Lucius! Are you okay? Yes! And then she'll like, you know, if you want to try and pull her out, she's, she'll come out with you. Yeah, let me... Bring her back. <coughs> so I would have taken damage anyway, right? Planar damage, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, you take 10 planar damage, you and take, you also... Don't no, no, you don't actually know, but you would have gained one because you started in dim light. <laughs> so yeah. you gained one more. Dimmers. So anyway, one, one's not too bad. Okay. Um, in which case... So that is uh, move. You've moved 15 feet. Bonus action to open the lid. So you have 15 feet of base movement left. Valor. Uh-huh. Is there anything you can do to get us to that circle now? Uh, no. Quill's, uh, Quill asked for my help to, to give him that the burst of speed earlier. Um, okay, I bye! To, I need to concentrate. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So you're just going to... You, I'm you, just going to run into the thing. Can you grab her and bring her? I'm taking her with I feel like I'm really pushing the limit of actions mm. if I was to do that. You have an action left. You do have an action. If you dashed, even with half movement, you could probably get both of you in there. It's just a dash, though. I mean, 
Benevolent, wonderful dear. I don't know what you're doing. Tell me. If you have Tell me what you do. If I am to spend it all on dashing, can yes. I bring Valor with me? Carrying a creature halves your movement. So with 15 feet of normal movement and a 30 foot dash, 40 foot cut in half is 20 something feet, which would be enough to get you both inside. Hell yeah, balancing the I scales. Don't do it. <laughs> no, I did it. <laughs> it does balance the scales. Right. Well, take you and Valor. We'll see. Unless wow. the undead thing counts, and also moats. Do, are they, do they weigh anything? Can I bonus action? You've already, yeah, already used action. it. <laughs> yeah. And anything else? Just got a moat floating around. Yep. Anything else? That's me done, I think. And the end of Lucius's turn. Countdown. Doom. Goes to nothing. A wave of necrotic energy fills the space. However, as there are three living creatures in both circles, there is no effect on anything. Oh, yes! Oh, including Ayla. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. No effect yeah. anybody. That's right. the thing. Like, so. if only two people were in that, and I wasn't, it would be fucked, because... Uh, if there were two yeah. people... It would probably, it if would it was have, imbalanced, we would have had damage. Uh, I will tell you, you, because this ability won't get used again. Okay. Um, if, the, if the circles had been unbalanced, only those in the circles would have been affected. Slightly lesser than uh, if there was nobody in the circles at all. Gotcha. But still, huh. it would have been not good. That was cool. See, worth it. Worth nice. it. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> to, uh, in sort of anger at this, uh, Kalara will make an attack. Uh, she will use a legendary action to use life drain on Lucius. Uh, yeah, fair. Uh, yeah. Actually, no. Who do I want to do it? Yeah, no, Lucius. Um, <laughs> Constitution saving throw, please. DC 24. Oh, that's a. Uh, Ten. With right. advantage. With advantage. With advantage. Yeah, might as well. Well, that's better. That is a uh, 23. <laughs> oh. That is sadly not enough. Ten points of necrotic, Close. and your max hit points are reduced by ten. How much, sorry? Ten. Okay, that's fine. Ten points of necrotic damage, the, and your max The max points. isn't fine at all. No. All right. So, yeah, reduce your max by ten. Uh, and then we go to Keelik and Kalar. Cool. Um, I've got this boy next to me, but he doesn't take... Reactions. Uh, reactions. You gain one more stack. Oh, Should I bring it? Up to nine. Piss. Oh my god, what happens when you get to uh, ten? Now that Valor is back, you do not take the planar damage. She resumes <laughs> oh, cool. concentrating. Um, um, oh, I need to take damage for my... For the eight stacks I already had, or for nine stacks now? Uh, you've not moved yet. Uh, okay. You're not carrying any moats, are you? So, <laughs> Um, Max actually took some damage. All right, I want to uh, just nip past Sentry, go to the other side of Sentry. So now I'm in between Sentry, Max, and Ayla, which yeah. is just. Oof. Um, and I want a bonus action. Nice. Uh, use a holy weapon on oh! Ayla's weapon. Oh, yes! It's being concentrated in Elder Quill. Um, okay. Bright light, baby! So yeah, you get an extra 2d8 of damage. Does um, it create bright light as well? Or? It does create bright light. It, uh, How much? Uh, the entire arena. <laughs> uh, Likely. So it emits uh, bright light in a 30-foot radius, and 30-foot extra of dim light beyond that. What too. level spell is it for my relevance? Mm -hmm. uh, none yet. None your business. So. What level? Fifth. Oh, Did I say fifth? I, I cast it at ninth. No, I didn't. I cast it at fifth. Um, and uh, as an action, as a cantrip, I want to sacred flame that nerd over there. Okay. Um, it fails. It fails. It's, so I do. I'm pretty sure it's destroyed because uh, it's not vulnerable to. That was noise. Huh. Thirty-four damage. Ooh, it's destroyed. That is a hefty damage. That is a six eight six eight plus six. Wow. wow. That was a. Pretty My cantrips are so good. Yeah, they are. That is just a cantrip. Uh, yeah. I mean, so, uh, also, <laughs> ra radiant damage against these particular yeah. enemies is very good. Uh, so yeah, you watch as the, the Banshee, the Handmaiden, erupts in light and is conjured back. Just like Gideon. I mean, Godric. <laughs> Anything else on your turn? Uh, no, I've moved, I moved 10 feet. Um, if you, do you move 10 feet? No more than 10 feet, though. It's 10 feet, though. Oh, no, I did, yeah, the wording is, like, more than 10 feet. I'll give it to you. I don't uh, think you moved 10 feet, did you? No, I, I moved uh, past Sentry like to you. No, he did, yeah, he did. He moved, but it wasn't more than 10 feet. I didn't move, Sentry grabbed me and spammed me around. Nope. 
Okay. Okay. Then Whee! We, uh, <laughs> End of turn? <laughs> End of turn. That is, that is uh, all she wrote. Oh, no. I'm she. Clara will look down. And do nothing on her turn. Sentry's not looking good, though. No. Oh god, Can't what? Really What's happened to Sentry? Oh, then Quill's got lots of like, oh, the Holy Aura. And then lots of moving around. You got of... two spells. Holy Aura and magic, uh, Holy Weapon. Holy oh, Weapon. Oh god, but your health is fucking trash right now. Yeah, I know, but... Disadvantage against Quill. It's natural one on the first one. Oh. Holy Aura doing its work. Yeah. Next attack, Creeping Darkness. Uh, that is going to be a 19. Oh. Can you shield? Uh, I can shield. I'll shield. Okay, you remember you've Wait, how much is shield? <coughs> um, shield is five. plus five, so that puts me at 19. So is that... Oh, well, that was still hit. Yeah, okay, I, I, yeah, I won't shield then. 12 points of necrotic damage. Reduce your max HP by 12, and I would like a concentration save for both spells, please. So that's at 10, right? DC 10. Uh, plus three from me. Okay, well, that one is like a million. That was, was 24 with that. Cool. Um, and that was the advantage on it. This is, yeah, this is a pass as well. 17, okay. 18. All right, that's fine. And then, yeah. Yep. All right. Um, so, so, yeah, both. got both. Still up. I'm still okay. standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a bonus action, Holy Weapon is only a fifth level spell. Oh. No. <laughs> She's going to use her bonus action, Wallow in Darkness, to end the light created by a sixth level spell or lower. Oh, the spell yeah, ends yeah, immediately. Uh, Holy Weapon is dispelled as the light coming from the hammer um, is engulfed by darkness. I can't, yeah, I can't stop that from happening. Uh, it's not a spell either. This yeah. Is like, uh, it can't be counterspelled. Um, and it is uh, only a fifth level spell. So, but that is all of Kalara's turn. Ah. We go to Ayla. Shit, and by extension, piss. Yeah. Um, Sven? It's <laughs> a fair analogy. Max has got those moats, right? Max has currently got two moats. Uh, in fact, yeah. actually, two were dropped by the Banshee because it was holding one of Max's. Oh, well. yeah. How are you? Thank you. Okay, um, actually. Ba -ba -ba. Can I? <laughs> move instead over to Nova and I've got one moat and I will use my bonus action to put moat so five, in. 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, easily enough. Bonus action, moat goes in. And I will move up to Kalara with the rest of my movement. I think you're just enough. 45 feet, Four. yeah. And what? currently shadowy, right? I will. She is currently engulfed in shadow. Hold my action to if the shadows go away, Make attack. attack. Sure. Yeah. Very cool. perfectly. That's me. Um, yeah. I wonder if we should move the lantern up the initiative. Oh, what? Give it to. Hold actions. Give it to Ayla. Well, no was like the there. third person to go. Um, really? At the end of your turn, Ayla, Kalara oh, is going to. Oh. You're currently carrying the lantern, aren't you, Nova? Yeah. She's going to teleport. Yeah. Uh, she's going to attempt to teleport. Can Lucius? Oh, no, because you, uh, you've got you, you might fail. Lucius, Nova, and Ayla. Can you make charisma saving? I throws? can't save. No, you can't save. Uh, yeah. What is it? Charisma. Uh, well, saving throw. Is it not like a twenty-eight? It is a magical charm. effect. It's it not yeah. a charm. Nope. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. You succeed. 29. You succeed. <laughs> Unfortunately, you guys are a lot of Christmas high twins. Christmas people. It bounced off my 10, smile. 20, 25, 30, 30. <laughs> go away. Fucker. <laughs> so go away. Yeah. Yeah, I can come back just as quick, you piece of free. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rage uh, talk, you know it. You are currently <laughs> in dim lights. Uh -huh. One more stack of should bring up for you to a total of eight. More than that. Oh boy. I shit 40 feet. <laughs> I've got three things I want to do, but I can't decide can't which do one all of them. I, I can't. I can't decide which one of the three Tell, things Talk to your team. There. Ask our team for advice. Um, so <laughs> my idea is I could... One of my ideas is I could cast Sunbeam. It emits bright light in a 30-foot radius, and I just cast it straight up until I need it to attack people and use that bright light to protect from the shadow bringer. I could do Aura of... Uh, purity 
and protect people from necrotic damage in a 30 foot radius and protect people from losing their hitch, hit, hit, hit point maximum. Please do that. That second one sounds Sorry? Please do that. Um, hey, or, I, or I could heal someone like 20 hey, hit points. He's got 41 <laughs> max hit points. What was that spell again? That's it. Yeah. Or my, my <laughs> I forgot I had it. You forgot you had a potion. <laughs> I forgot I had This a is potion. like Quill's death round two. <laughs> we don't yeah. get it. If I, if I die in this fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh-huh. I, get, I get it. Conf- I have lots of aura shit going on. Yeah. I, I mean, I've got, yeah. There's, 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 there's a lot, lot of auras. I mean, it was only this year you remembered you can heal. That's true. Aura of purity, holy aura, Rita aura. Rita aura, she's pretty good. I like I will, the second one. Okay. Yeah. I will aura of life. So what is that? Is that like every creature within range or every creature it like? within a thirty foot radius? Purity, right? They have resistance to necrotic damage and its hit point maximum can't be reduced. In addition, a non hostile living creature regains one hit point when starting its turn in that aura. You I would recommend well this is yeah, if you move much. ten feet this way, you'll be able to hit everybody but Ayla. Oh, you, then I'll get a shadow bring a stack and I might will. go down. If I move ten feet. <laughs> Sit where you are. Yeah, you need to get to basically here to hit everyone. If Wait, I are you in if I miss oh, this is a spell if I misty step. Uh yes, that would be a bonus action spell. You would not be able to cast another spell. Oh, fuck. Uh I will tell you with eight stacks you would take sixteen necrotic damage. Sixteen. Stay where 16. you are. Sixteen. Okay. Stay. I'll stay. Alright. I'll stay where I am. What would you like stay. to do? Stay we go. I will aura of purity. And yeah. So I'll that's that. only going to hit oh, no, you, life. Quill, and Let's Max. Yeah. But it is mix. concentration. It's concentration. It's, yeah, to keep the effect, but when you cast the spell, it determines who it affects. It's like Beacon of Hope. Yeah. Bacon. Or, I mean, you can, yeah, you can do 10 It, it moves feet. with me. Uh, so as long as I'm... So could she move te- up to 10 feet really? and then not... As long as she doesn't go further than 10 feet, she won't You could move damage. 10 feet towards the other group and yeah. you'd... It just won't be able to hit you. I'll, I'm not going to get hit regardless. Yeah, I'll do, I'll no, do she 10. can. She just has to move 20 feet to hit you as well. Oh, yeah. well, don't bother. I'll, I'll do 10 feet more into the middle. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, no, it's it moves with you and any creature that is currently in the aura. Yeah. Oh, okay. so it's um, an aura-based... Is that the actual wording like, of it then? It yeah, says. yeah. Yeah, it's an aura-based. Okay, so then it doesn't matter where okay. you are. It's on you. And it do, does it create light? You. No. Yeah, very good. So anyone within 30 feet of sentry can't lose their max. Necrotic damage and you can't have your hit point max. Stay there. Stay there. Stay. That's concentration. Yeah. yeah. All right. 41 done, hit sentry? points. I am done. 41, is that what you, You've yeah. all only got 41 hit points. That's At the end of your turn, sensing this incredibly powerful uh, defensive spell, uh, Clara is going to try and use life drain on sentry. Can you make a constitution saving throw, please? Uh, advantage. Mm-hmm. 14, 21. Uh, 21. 21 is not enough, but you do still have your aura, mm-hmm. so you're only going to take 5 necrotic, and you don't have your hit point maximum reduced. Okay. DC 10 concentration check. 6 plus 7, 12. Advantage. Oh, advantage. it's a pass anyway, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice. Holy go shit. to Nova Vija. Can I move over to... 5 sat- radiant damage as well. ...which myself in between the little, um, the trio over here. So you want to join the group five, hug? 10, 15. And then yeah. a little bit more, like yeah, so I can kind of get all also three of them. Yeah. There. Yeah. yeah. Um, my moat of light needs to come with me as well. Yeah. And can I have Tian Gong move uh, thirty foot just towards? Yeah. If you're wondering, I look <laughs> real edge lordy right now. In terms of what? Shadow bring us tax. It's coated in like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, his manifest is like almost like <laughs> feathers across his. Face. These uh, the, sh- the stacks of Shadowbringer are almost like grasping hands wrapping around your body, like crawling up you, kind of like trying to drag you down almost. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Tickling. I'd like to use this ability on everyone but Quill because he seems to be enjoying it. Okay. Um, no, <laughs> I I would like to use all four charges of the lantern to cast um, Grace of Light on. Quill, Max, and Sentry. Okay. Damn. All nice. three of you have your stacks of Shadowbringer <laughs> removed. <laughs> How many have I got now? Uh, you currently have five, Ayla. Um, um, so far, it's just you and Lucius. Lucius has one, you have five currently. Which is which is 10 necrotic damage if you move more than 10 feet. I just got rid of nine. Yeah. Sentry got rid of Can I use my action to waft my moat into me? Nope. Bonus action. 
Can I hold my action? It's, it might not happen, mm -hmm. but can I hold my action that if I get five moats in this lantern, I'll cast yes. uh, Mother's Light? Yeah. Absolutely yeah, you can. Absolutely. Everybody give your moats to me now! What's in the lantern at the moment? Zero. Nothing. Zero. Right, done? Yes. Uh... <coughs> oh, and I take five. Radiant damage. Efforts to try and break Sentry's concentration. Can you make another constitution check as Kalara is going to use the life drain? One more touch. 18. 18 is not enough. You're going to take five necrotic and then you have to make another concentration check, please. Trying to whittle you down, sensing that you are. I think I can do it. 21. Yeah, it's DC 10, so. Oh, okay, the first one. You are fast. fine. Concentration maintains. Uh, Maximilian will go. Maximilian will use his bonus action to put two. Oh, never Ooh. mind. Puts two orbs into two motes of light he infuses. Um, and then he will. Sentry, uh, you are looking injured, yes? Yes. Uh, as his action, he will place a hand on your shoulder and with his healing flames give you 20 hit points. Oh, incredible. Oh. Thank you, Max. You are welcome. He's our true healer. <laughs> let us let us end this. Lucius. Uh, Lucius. How did you catch it? It's my it? turn now. It is. You gain one stack of Shadowbringers. You are currently in dim light. <clears throat> I would like to action dash. Um, I've calculated it. I should be. Oh, wait. 10, 15, 20, 25. If you want to get next to Nova. But I'm dashing, so can I. You don't like... need to dash. Well, where do you want to go? You want to go. I'm going to get the moats. to get the moats yep, and then so go, go back. Go five to there, 30. Can I not skip over the statue? Like uh, parkour? Parkour! What do you mean? You want to go like... That well, way. Nova's there. Yeah, I know, but I want to get those two moats and go back okay. to Nova. So five... Uh, so you would go there with 30, then you would dash five feet. You've got 25 feet of movement left. You've got these two. And there's two moats in there now. You've I've already now got, got three. Triple mount. So I'm going to go and put them in the lane. You don't even need to continue moving. You can just use your bonus action now. In. Yeah. Um, but to do three moats is an ability oh, check. With advantage. Roll high, baby. No. 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 Okay. It's not, not safe. The three moats. Natural 20. Oh my god! <laughs> Two I'm no man! Of will. <laughs> Lucius places his hand on the lantern, sensing this connection to Siaska. All three moats are imbued into the lantern. Hell yeah. Never. And the action goes off! Blast! Blast. <laughs> this beam of light <laughs> cast forward, and Hell once yeah. again, the swirling storm of shadows around Kilara is broken away, burnt away. Um, as she realizes what's done, she like looks. No! Aelo uh, smirks and just <laughs> stares at her. Go, 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 go! Uh, okay. What damage did I take with one shadow bring at the start? But uh, I gain another one? You would have gained, it would have been four necrotic to you, Lucius. Uh, Is that and with you are the done? resistance? Uh, you, if you have resistance, yeah, that would go down to two. <laughs> and then I believe it is Quill. And two max. Oh no, no max. No, no, no damage reduction. That's, you never get damage reduction from Shadowbringer. Oh yeah, you're right. Quill. Wonderful. So well, now that I'm next to Nova with the light, I'm not gaining Shadowbringer. You do not, well, yeah, you are currently in bright light. Fuck yeah. That gets a fuck yeah from me, dog. <laughs> um, I am going to cast. Uh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast. Lost it. He's gone. Uh, where is it? Guiding Bolt at one, two, three, four, five, fifth level. Okay. Um, on her. Uh, okay. So it's a plus fourteen to hit. Eighteen. Nope, unfortunately not. Hang on. Just manages. <laughs> he's looking, he's like, I got something. I got something here. I got something somewhere. There's got to be something. Uh, no, Elder Quill can't help. Nope. Uh, I will tell you that somebody can help, though. You can help. Vala, 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 Vala has a reroll. Vala has a reroll. <laughs> has a reroll, yeah. Do I use it? Do I use it? I it's guess called. I I'm, I mean, I'm just going to put it out there. Fate reversal. reversal, yeah. Fate gonna... reversal. I mean, it whiffs. Vala sees that. <laughs> and Bring it back. Let me cast that again. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I'll, Don't roll terribly. I'll use Fate Reversal on that. Burn it. <laughs> I believe 
Tom has used <laughs> all no, Lucy's used I've used two, yeah. Used two, yeah. Those are gone now, so you might as well hand them <laughs> Yeah. Right, I'm going to try that one again. Time turns back, I try again. It really upset her. Oh my god, I'm not one! Thomas! Waste it! Whiffed it! Kalara, sensing what is about to happen, having sensed this, this past uh, coming back, the even though the Armour of Shadows is not there, one of the great vines wrapped around her thrones bounces, knocks the guiding bolt away from her up into the starry oh, void. Oh, damn, that's cool. Missing. She did that twice as well. She knocked it away twice. Just Anything else on your turn? Well. Uh, as a, uh, I will um, uh, scream. Mm. Then I'm going to use my movement to collect those two moats, come back, bonus action, put them into... Um, Nova's check, lantern. Please. Wisdom or charisma? Wisdom. Charisma. Nat 20. 20! Two more charges go into the lantern. <laughs> Where were you? Where were you? Would have been great. That would have been really ball. good on a guiding bolt. Would have been incredible on a guiding bolt. End of turn? End of turn. Kalara's turn. Uh, Kalara <laughs> will sentry, unfortunately. No! Uh, two creeping shadows attacks. Uh, disadvantage because of Holy Aura, I believe. Yep. 25. Yep. 12 necrotic, uh, half to oh, six, six, and no reduction to your maximum hit points, but can you make a concentration check, please? Yep. Looking for that. With advantage in that one on the first one. 14 on the second. That's yeah, a success. It's only DC 10. Oh, okay. And then yeah, the second it. one, uh, it's going to be a miss with a disadvantage, so it keeps bouncing yes. away. Unable to do anything, um, but uh, she will use her call handmaidens. No! Oh. You, don't want to, you don't need to do that. Oh, okay. That's so there's spell. now two in the lantern, not, right? Not, none of these are spells, I'm afraid. Why not? Because uh, <laughs> camp spell sucks. <laughs> no, uh, none of these are spells. These are all her domain powers. These are all just mm. things that she can do. Um, and that is her bonus action to summon them. Ayla. You're going to run back up to her. Yeah, I mean, yeah. because you've got 45 of the movement, yeah. right? So you can actually make it because she teleports you 40 feet away. Yeah. Yeah. But even and with the can... difficult terrain, you just hop the fence. Teleports her away in like a gust, in a blast of smoke, and then the silhouette up in the smoke. Yes. <laughs> 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 22 yeah. is a hit. 22 hits. Let's go. Uh, track, right? go. Right, track how much damage she takes. Uh, Wait, like 19 lightning. on the hammer, one lightning. Uh, so 20. Mm -hmm. Next one. Oh, that might miss. 18. That's going to miss. miss. Fuck. Uh, deck save. Plus. Uh, deck save. I'm just going to have a fail. I have a no bonus and. 18 misses. Eight, yeah, 18 misses. Yeah, weird that. I'm sure, an 18 hit last time. You eight. just rolled an no. 18. That was the whole thing of you missing. Did I? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you just oh, wiped it yes. memory. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yes. want to remember that. 13. 13 points of lightning damage. I rolled terribly. I rolled three ones. Did I just really slowly react to my hit? <laughs> yes. I think you did. Um, so the first strike managed to hit, but the second one again is knocked oh, away so by annoyed. one of these vine tendrils. I'm still blown away that I caught this default. Uh, end of turn? <laughs> yes, then I take 10 damage. Uh, you did, you take 10 necrotic, yes. Am I and within 30 feet of sentry? You are. Then you I are, take so five. Uh, yes, you only take five, and you started your turn in dim light, though, so you do technically gain another stack. I have so many stacks. You're six, you're six, you're okay. Um, you're tough. Um, at the end of Ayla's turn, Who's got moats? Who's got moats? Any of you got moats? Who's got moats? I've got one moat. <laughs> You're getting more yeah. of those moats? <laughs> I have moat. Moat man. The uh, natural one. Uh, the banshee. <laughs> I moat! <laughs> hey, I'm moat man! Um, and then uh, Kilara doesn't like the fact that you're all gathered around that bright light. Quill, Sentry, Max. Charisma saving throws, please. She uses. Oh, come on, Quill! <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, charisma. It's got to be 24. Uh, yeah. You are also all within range to have a minus d4 to your saving throws. Oh, okay. All right. Within well, range of... Oh, wait. Uh, the Banshee. Banshee. The Banshee. With a plus three. Oh, Banshee, I, still, yeah. I still fail. I got 22. Fails. 12 me. Fails. I got to roll for Max. Max. Fails. Uh, Hang on, was it charisma? Yes. My well, charisma is plus 13. Hang on. Nine. Oh, I'm just going to move 12. 12. 22. Plus 13. Yeah. Nine. 
Minus four. Still fail. Yeah. 18. I, I read Constitution instead of Charisma. Constant. Can you put Max just... On Constamisma. It? Constamisma! By here? Or by the tree? Uh, uh, yeah, by one more back. And then can you move Sentry just two back? Yeah. Maybe? As she woof, teleports all three of you away. No! Uh, okay. Um, and doing all so. out the aura. All out the uh, aura. Sentry. Okay. Uh, well, I was gonna try and turn around and hit her. So mm -hmm. I guess. I mean, you still do can. You, yeah, you can. You can totally hop that fence and still. still There's can. actually a gate there, so that's actually that you actual. You totally gate. open the gate. Yeah, it's actually yeah, still worth it. Hit with the gate. If I bonus hit with the gate. Starbreaker, does that break my concentration on my aura, or does that still? No, no. no? Starbreaker is not concentration. No, it's just it transforms it. You would gain the exhaustion level, but. All right, I'm gonna yeah transform Starbreaker and just charge at her. Okay, uh, if you can move Sentry into melee for me, someone. That's so fun. Um, feel those gates actually open as well, so if you can't open them, yeah, it's fine. Right here. Cool. Sweet. All right, let's roll some attacks. First attack, I'm going to do a level seven. Wait, wait, you only need to do the Divine Smite if you hit, remember. Wow. Don't, don't spend the spell smite. Oh. <laughs> 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, Oh, right, interesting. She is Titan. Five, five, she eight. is Titan. One, two, three, four, five, 2d12. Let's see. 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 for the first one. 38 points of damage. There's a level 3 divine smite. That's above. Oh. All right. What? I just remembered that uh, last time we dealt a chunk of damage to her while she had the shadow down, she vanished. So that might happen cool. again. I rolled a 29 for the second one. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, Same again. 2d12, 5d8. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it will happen anyway, but I just remembered. It's a cycle. <clears throat> Where are you going, bud? 11, 14, 24, 25, 30, 38, 46, plus 7, 53. Oh my god! Whoa. Jesus Damage. Christ. Uh, Lord! That's so mental. Cool. That's so funny. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, you run in too great as Starbreaker thrusts forward, breaking away chunks of her throne. Now this obelisk kind of broken, floating, but you can begin to see it it hovering and faltering in place, Kalara clutching her chest as you do so. Um, end of turn. I will bonus action regain a level three spell slot with divine, harness divine power. Okay. Um, Is that the I, last use of that's, your... That's the last, no, yeah. I've got one more use of that. Right, and then yes. Ava, you... Nova, yeah, I get three Paladins uses. get more. Son of a... <laughs> yeah, their channel divinities aren't as strong normally. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'll oh, stay where sure I am. I can't move without getting through her, so. Okay. Uh, well, having suffered that century, she is going to target you with a life drain, constitution, same. Actually, no. Y people aren't in your aura for a fucking change. Uh, Quill. They are. Ayla might am. still be. Yeah, yeah. 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 Quill isn't, though. <laughs> I'm too far away, though. Uh, not for the life drain. Nah. Can't uh, see me. Constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Uh, as a point, all of her attacks, if you are in the demi plane, she can hit you with them. Yeah. Constitution, mm -hmm. uh, 17. You take 10 necrotic, and your hit point maximum is reduced ah. by 10. And I'd like concentration checks. Wait, 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 shut up, wait. Shut up, wait. No. Wait, no, shut up. <laughs> wait. What are you trying to do? Wait, shut up. Uh, I'm going to use, <clears throat> I'm going to use my reaction, uh, and Elder Quill is going to block that shot for me. Does Elder Quill lose whatever spell they are concentrating on? He's not concentrating it? on a spell right now. No. Oh, that's right. Because Holy, Holy got Weapon spelled. got the spell. That's right. Yeah. In that case, yeah. So nice. it does mean you can't use Elder Quill again, I believe. This, that's fine. But yeah, uh, Elder Quill will. Uh, going to absorb that hit. Yeah. So I will. Yeah. That's fine. You take damage. Elder Quill jumps in front of this life draining force yeah. instead. I can it's use him to bug. auto pass a saving throw. Yeah. So. Nice. Yeah. Very good. I don't take that damage. All right. In that case, we go to... that would have been quarter of my health. <laughs> Nova Vija. I would like to... 
You don't. I die. <laughs> Bonus action. Yeah. Teleport swap places with Tian Gong, which means the lantern drops next to Lucius. Yep. Lantern drops. I want both of us to surge up Ooh. to um, Kalara. Nice. Oh. Yes, no, if I do it. Because if I was holding the lantern, yeah. I get half damage on yep. everything. Yep, 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 yep. Yes. You figured it out. I am going to attack. But also Eldritch Smite, Action Surge, and Unleash Incarnate. Yes, Nova! Yes. 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 Action Surge right. you don't have to use until you run out of attacks. Until so. we decide, yep. you know, where so it stops. First attack. So first attack is Kill them. 30 to hit. 30 will hit. Are you uh, Eldritch Smiting? Yes. Okay. Eight plus nine is 17. Uh, 17. 19 points of damage. And then Eldritch Smite on top. Is that 1d8 or 2d8? Uh, it's based on your spell slot. So what spell slot do you have? Two. Is it, what oh, level I, is the spell slot? Level spell slot is my highest yep. is... Whatever you cast it Three. So it's 2d8 for a level one. So it'd be 4d8 for your Eldritch Oh. Wow. That's great. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So another 14 on top. So for a total of... 33, I believe, total damage. Um, as you deal this damage, oh, there she, goes. she was one point off the threshold which triggers uh, her. She still takes all that damage, <laughs> Okay, but uh, it means that as soon as you hit her, she vanishes again. Ah! You still get your action <coughs> surge at least. She doesn't have, she hasn't spent it yet. She hasn't yeah, spent the action that, surge yeah. yet. So yeah, it. you watch as she, no, and vanishes back. Uh, disappearing from sight. I like to imagine, hard. like, both of us were winding up for attack two, yeah. just full, like... Yeah. <clears throat> Literally, Sentry put her one point of damage off her oh, damage oh, threshold, shit. and then, and I was like, as soon, as soon, and that's why I was like, do Eldritch Smite this time? Because, yeah. like, if you didn't, she would have vanished and you wouldn't have gotten to do it. But you've oh. you've reduced her heavily down now. So. Yeah. Um, and the so the lantern is on the floor between... Next to Lucius and yeah. Tim, yes. Yeah. yeah. I will put a dice to represent it. Oh, we got it. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, would I have taken the five radiant damage at the beginning of my turn with uh, that? At the beginning of your yeah. turn, yes, because you wouldn't have been able to drop it. Um, yeah, so. Nova's looking rough. Okay, yeah, if... Nova's fine. If anyone says... I'm fine completely. I'm looking rough, just, just say, you, say you're looking rough. He has 41 hit points maximum. maximum. But yeah. that's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll hear. Right, and so Nova, you—I mean, you still have movement. You still have attacks. There is like a banshee next banshee to you and right stuff. Next to you. Like, oh, yeah. I did my bonus, didn't I? Um, yeah, I'll attack the banshee. Let's go. I wanna. I wanna hurt someone. Why not? You, got your, you got your multi attack, so you may as well. I wanna hurt someone. Um, it'll be with Tian Gong technically, actually, because um, I don't have my sword out. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, it would be so if Tian Gong could move to the one that's on Lucius. Yep. Um, that is 25 to hit. 25 will hit. 13, 17 points of damage. How much of that is force? Four. Four, and then 13, six, 10. Yep, it takes the hit, it's not quite destroyed as the sword swipes through. Second attack is a, a 21. Hits. Yes. Uh, eight, 17 regular damage and one force damage. <laughs> That is enough to destroy this banshee. Hell yeah. Moat. Moat is dropped. Can Tiangong pick up a moat? No. no. Uh, oh. Same reason that Tiangong hasn't been taking shats of, uh, shats? Stacks, <laughs> stacks of Shadowbringer. They don't shadow. Uh, because no. they are not a creature, as we said, they can't lift objects, so they're not affected by the effect, but they are also not able to pick up the lantern or the moats. Uh, cool. Anything else? No, that me. Turn. That your turn? All right, well, in that case, banshee. this banshee is going to attack you. Uh, oh, still, uh, she still, okay. still uh, That's going to be a 20 to hit. That hits, yeah. Uh, so that's going to be 10 points of necrotic damage, it's, it's um, which you would still get yeah. reduced to half, um, and you can't take reactions. Okay. All right. Um, Maximilian Taldros. Your YouTube career is over. Can somebody just uh, videos? No. max 30 <laughs> feet <laughs> towards everyone, please? Um, huh. He does gain a stack of Shadowbringer at the start of his turn. Um, and did he will just dash another thing. Action dash, yeah. yeah. Did Makes any of the um, shrines emit lights after the oh. turn reset? That is a very good point, thank you. I'll do that now. 
In fact, actually, I'll do it at the end of this turn. Okay. So for some reason, it skipped a turn. Okay. Yeah. Do it twice um, at the end of the turn. And maybe I will. Maybe yeah. I will. It was probably the valor thing, like breaking yeah. open a coffin. Yeah, it makes it sense. That's what it was, 100%. Lucius. Um, Lucius is going to bloop bloop the two moats into his position. Uh, there's only one moat, the other one is a, the lantern That's itself. The, lantern. Oh. The, the D4 is currently just a representation of the lantern. To pick up the lantern. It is an action to pick it up. Yep. Yep. Oh. So there, are, that. there is an immediate effect um, as you gain the Lightbringer trait. Um, take damage and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna 30 foot to <laughs> Quill. Like the other side of the wall. Yeah, this side, yeah. yeah I'm taking the moat with me. So how many moats are in the lantern now? I didn't catch that. I think it's two, two. And then Lucius has one on him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. I think it's two moats. Two right charges. The, the lantern has two charges. <laughs> uh, so I literally have the lantern moats ready to be like. <laughs> So, okay. Do you have a bonus action? He does. Bonus action, you, you can, can put moats in. in. Yep. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's a bonus, bonus action. Bonus action, put the moat into so the lantern. You gain oh, another yeah, charge. Yeah, yeah. So it's three charges. charges. There's three in the lantern now. <laughs> All right, oh, end of turn. Yes. <laughs> this banshee. <laughs> <laughs> I like these guys. It couldn't get you before you got rid of your moat. Um, yeah. uh, it's going to be a... 15 to hit. Nope. Oh, clashes against the Stormcaller chain. No, the uh, lantern. The lantern itself. <laughs> Quill. Uh, you block it with a lantern, that's healthy. Um, I'm going to... Annoyingly, I can't uh, Holy Weapon you anymore. I've run out of spell slots. Um, sorry. You I'm going to uh, Sacred Flame, uh, the Banshee that just attacked Lucius. Okay. Um, and that does... Uh, 27 oh, damage. Oh, it is destroyed and drops a moat. God, I love my cantrips. God damn. And, uh, five plane on. No, 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 no. If I, uh, if I shout the word heal, who looks around the sharpest at me? No. This boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns okay. out holding the lantern is really bad. Uh, really? Uh, yeah, she would have taken damage five radiant time. damage at the end of yeah. your turn. Did you take that? Yeah. Uh, what's... He's on five. Oh, well, yeah, his, his max is... Wait, are you on five hit points? He's on five hit points and holding a lantern yeah, that does update, five damage. updating on my end. I thought you had more. Oh. Um, well, I'm going to... Uh, healing... He was just silent about it as well. Of course he was. He wants down, to die. Right? Huh? You might want to put the lantern down. I just want to... I just want to if if yeah. Lucius dies, it's not my fault. It's his fault. He <laughs> wants Lucius to No, I, I yelled he here. I, I, I yelled that. heal and Lucius turned around and and is now getting my healing word for 17 HP. Healing oh, word? Jesus. You know you're next to it. You could just... I've uh, used my action to Sacred Flame. Uh, That's right. So yeah, that was a fourth level, that healing word as well. So Thank you. Um, 17 healing to you should help. Okay. That does help. It does help. Occurrence. Yeah. Ooh. And that's, yeah, that's my turn. If you do any of these I won't do any movement. Okay. Or should I do some but movement? You Sorry. Any stacks. You'll take yeah. that. No, I. Oh, uh, no, we stacks won't. Who has no stacks? Ah. Nice. No, I don't. Uh, I'll stay here. Okay. I'll right. stay here. Yeah. Uh, the very last uh, shadow is going to attack Nova. It's only going to be a fifteen. Nope. Hit. This is uh, Ayla. Oh Christ. Okay. Um. I guess I'll go up to this banshee and hit it, please. Okay. Wait. Uh, I had a moat on me already, and then I picked up another one. Twenty-six to so hit. You yeah, you, you, you. No, you've just there's and that one just dropped by the banshee. I already added your one. You have three charges. That moat hasn't been picked up yet. Yeah. Twenty-six to hit. Oh, that right. one. Yeah. That's fourteen damage on the Michael. hammer plus one lightning. Mm-hmm. Then... Yeah. Does not destroy it. So two more for the next uh, Lara. 30 to right. hit. Hits. Oh, full damage. Uh, 23 on the hammer plus three lightning. That is enough to destroy it. Hell yeah, just one banshee left. 
and no Kalara to be found. Did I only move like five feet? You only moved five feet, yeah. I can't get anywhere else, I don't think. I can just get up to that other benchy, I think. Uh, this one just, here. yeah. 5, 10, 15, I've already, yeah. Oh yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, yeah, you can. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, did you leave this? Are you touching the moat? I'm going to leave it for Nova. Okay. All right. Um, and I am going to go over there and blast just it. blast my Lightning. aura. Yep. Fails at save automatically. Uh, half it, half it, but a significant amount of damage. It weakens the banshee. Not yep. enough to destroy it. Uh, end of turn. Yes, please. Uh, oh, I you, moved, so I take down. You take 12 necrotic, and you are no longer in the aura, so that's the full 12. Okay. Sentry. Um, Sentry, you are currently emitting bright light, so you are fine. Um, Not about fine, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, because of the aura of purity. Oh. No, that doesn't no, that project doesn't light, does it? No, it no. doesn't. What, it was Mine does dim light. Yeah. Holy weapon... So, so Sentry, you there. do gain a stack of shattering. Okay. In fact, you are in... No, you have the Matrix, you do have dim, dim light. So uh, the, uh, yeah, my thing is dim light anyway. Okay. That's true. Is um, Lucius emitting bright light because he's got the lamp? Yes, yeah, 10 feet of bright light around Lucius currently. Okay. I'm gonna just move as close to the statue as possible so I'm in the centre. Okay. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20? Yeah. And I then. think that will, will that hit everybody in 30 feet. You need to move two uh, feet more, or two, uh, in ten feet more, sorry, oh, to yeah. hit me. Yeah. Which yeah. you can do. Yep, that will hit everyone. Awesome. Now. Cool. I will yeah. stay there, and I will lay on hands myself. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen okay. hit points. Wonderful. Thank you. It's all right. It's going to turn on Ayla. <laughs> this Just last banshee. Just slightly. Yeah. Uh, that was a natural 20, and then another lower roll, because of the disadvantage. Um, but with your this stack, it's still going to be... It is so powerful. It's, it's unbelievable. 20 it's to eight, hit. Eight mm -hmm. 10 necrotic. Um, and you Am I within 30 feet of sentry? You are now, yeah. So, so that would become 5. 5. But you cannot take reactions. Okay. Until the sign your next turn. Your YouTube career is over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I grab Say this moat next else. to me? You touch the moat, it begins following you. Do I have enough... <laughs> Movement to uh, grab the one next to Lucius and get to Quill. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Thir so 30, 30 will be on the moat. 30, 30 will be, will be on, on the moat, yes. Okay, so can I get there? Yeah. And... Do you want to grab this one as well? Yeah, so grab yeah, the so two. Got the in me. If I action dash, can I get next to... Sorry, not next. Wait, no. Next. Lucius currently has the lantern. And I'm, am I, do I need to move any further? No, to you're, bonus? No. you're within Lucius five feet of him. You can just bonus. I'm going to bonus action, action. Infuse. Infuse the so two. This is a wisdom or charisma ability check. So just d20 plus your wisdom. wisdom or charisma. I'm going to use charisma because it's plus five. There we go. Is it? 13. 13 is just in. Oh! Just. Nice. Two more charges. So there are five charges in the lantern right now. If so. Yep. And Kalara is yet to return with her shadowy veil. Bonus action. End of turn. That's everything, yeah. At the end of Nova's turn, because that's when she got banished, Kalara reappears. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Her Oi. Shadowy veil. Oh, way back there. She's so far away. She's more than 45 and from Ayla. When she returns, she lets out a terrifying oh, no. banshee streak. I <gasps> need everybody to make a constitution saving throw. Yay, On table red. And Lucius and Quill, uh, you all, so, not Quill actually, just Ayla and Lucius, you have minus d4 to your saving throw. Okay. 15. Kyle? Constitution. 21. 21. Fail. 25. Success. Yes. Natural 20. 20, 22. Fail. Yeah. 25 with the Fail. minus. That sucks. Okay. <laughs> uh, Plus those, 11. Those of you who failed... In one D&D, that would pass. In one uh, D&D, that would so pass. It would. We're not playing one D&D. <laughs> yeah, we we when we do play one D&D... <laughs> we yeah, would use that I'm rule. Still, <laughs> uh, I don't care what Jeremy Crawford said. This table doesn't See, use that rule. join me in my bonfire. 
fire mm. rebellion. <laughs> um, so we, we had uh, Quill fail, yeah. Nova fail, Bale, Lucius failed, oh, yeah. Sentry succeeded, yeah. uh, Ayla succeeded, Max fails. Yeah. No. Um, so those of you who failed, uh, thirty points of necrotic oh. damage. I'm down. Is that half well, because it's the aura? Sentry's aura would half it to 15, 15. yes. Ah, nice. Sentry! So are you still down, I'm Lucius? Down. Yes. So are you, wait, are you that would half it. Would that half the half? I want two. Yes. <laughs> so you would, get, you would take Don't seven. Do that to me. So yeah, give yourself another 15. I'm dead. That lantern... Wait, how are you on two? Huh? You should be on seven. Why? Because you had five. I healed you 17. You lost 30. You lost 15. Yeah. Yes. You should have seven. He didn't heal you two seventeen. He heals you seventeen. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. I'm glad we got there. Exactly. We've been playing this game 22. six, seven years. How long have we been playing? Long time. A bit. Yeah. He's, gonna, he's gonna get knocked down as soon as he takes his turn because of the lands. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, so when when she returns with that banshee <laughs> shriek, she lets out. Uh, yeah. She uh, hits a view. Those of you um, who just took that damage as well. Uh, sorry, it, yeah, so half damage from success, so you would have taken seven, you would have taken seven because of the resistance as well. Um, Not 15. No, no you would take was, 15. You would have taken 15 because you seven. saved. Yeah. And then... No, I you, didn't save. You no. didn't save, that's Sentry right. Sentry saved. Yes, Sentry saved. So Sentry would have taken seven necrotic. She saved and half resistance. Half again, yeah. Um, <laughs> you also... Oh, I forgot to do this last time. It's those of you who failed gain two Shadowbringer stacks. Those of you who succeeded gain one. Okay. Even though I'm in the... Do I gain it even though I've the got stack. the lantern? You do not, because you, you have do not. Because yeah, exactly. Do I still get it? Yes. In the in the yeah. Uh, you failed, didn't you, Quill? Uh, okay. Lucius, did you get any? <laughs> you failed. Failure. Didn't you, Quill? You failed. Failure. Three for Max. Failure. 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 I already knew that. Uh, <laughs> we then go to uh, Mister Maximilian Taldros. Whoa, Max! Um, Kill him dead. Once again, well, is actually, in a position where there isn't much he can do. Like, um, he's got a hammer. Does he want to heal no, it? He can't, well, he can't hit Kalara. Her armor of shadows is back. Is he oh. in range of the yes. banshee? Uh, 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's no. not. Right. Um, what he will do, though, is he will move. Around about here, so he's got everyone, and he will use Crusader's Mantle. Hey. Everybody Ooh. deals 1d4 extra radiant damage. Yes. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Uh, with attack rolls, so not all spells and things. Um, not all spells. Cool. At the end of his turn, Kilara is now back, and she does not like many people. Don't look at me. Where are you? Far away, too far away. Ah, oh, you've all got bloody resistance now because of Sentry. Sentry, Constitution yeah. saving throw. <laughs> Pick on you. Oh no. Oh, oh no. They're both bad. 14 and a uh, That would be 10 uh, necrotic, half to five. You don't get your hit points reduced because of your aura, but it is a concentration check, which I believe you're going to automatically succeed. Because you have like, what, plus nine? Uh, I have plus seven. Oh, so there's a chance. Sixteen plus seven. And, you're, you're fine. Oh. <laughs> and that was with chance. advantage as well. So. Oh yeah. Lucius. Oh uh, yeah, Lucius is gonna. Are uh, you holding so, the lantern? Yeah. You take five points of radiant damage. Yeah. yeah. The lantern ah, wait. drops. No, you're not oh, wait, down. Wait till your turn. You're not My down. My turn is me down. Huh? Is what do you mean I'm not down? You had seven health. That's true. You did. You have two hit points oh, yeah. left. You have two hit points. <laughs> Until the well, end of your turn, when you will it, yeah. At the end of his turn, it does damage again. It does, yes. Oh, it does damage twice. Yeah, it does. Beginning it does five at the beginning and five at the end. How many Specifically does it to... take to fuck up Kalara? Five. Uh, Lucius five stumbles up. forward. In the other way, Max. Max, in the way. How hold you Shakily hold up the lantern just past Max, uh, and then... A grace of light. Grace of light? No, no. no. Mother's light! <laughs> <laughs> Channel the beam. As the beam, as soon as Kalara returns, before she even has a chance, you disrupt the armor of shadows around her, huh? evaporating it. He I'm going to drop a... when I go down, yeah, which is now. So, it now, the it? armor of shadows is once again dispelled. <laughs> that is your action. Is there anything else you want to do, Chris Drop? Make it good. Um, that was my action. I'm going to quicken a spell. Cool. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. What spell? <coughs> Your classic. Ninth level. Oh. Really? Oh, chromatic spicy. orb. Spicy. Oh. Ninth level chromatic well, orb. That's going to do oh so God. many dice. If it hits. If it hits. If it hits. If it hits. He does um, have seeking spell. I do have seeking spell. So, hit. plus 12. Although, I'm holding the lantern. So, I do half damage with all this. Could you Sucks. drop it? It's an action so to drop. You, are you sure you want to do it? Are you sure you want to oh, cast yeah, your ninth sure. level spell with yeah. half damage? Oh. 20. Hits. Four. So this is half damage, whatever you've I'm going to do the roll on here. Okay. How, how many dice? 11 d8. <laughs> Jesus. Are you doing, uh, what kind of damage are you doing? I'm going to do cold. Oh, really? They can't be resistant to it. <laughs> I, I knew that he has that. So. Just so you know. You little thing. That's 42. So how many, how many ones were in there? 21. Which really sucks, doesn't it? Were there any ones in there? Uh, it's hard to tell with D&D Beyond. Could you update D&D Beyond so I could see all the individual numbers, please? 21 points of coal damage. Ugh, it's a huge storm. However, the draining aspect, carrying this lantern, it seems that some of the magic you fire is siphoned off as you're trying to hold this super heavy lantern as you use it. Uh, it does, however, impact Kalara. Spraying over the, the vines, you begin to see the plants and flowers around her throne wither and die um, as you strike true. As uh, I fall to my knees, with the damage so, taken. At the end of your me. turn, you take five and you fall unconscious. Well, just before I flick a dichromancy backwards <laughs> at the Banshee. Oh, wow, yeah, sure. How much? So it's nine plus my charisma of plus five. Plus four, sorry. <laughs> Thirteen. Uh, Ayla is going to take three points of radiant damage as it is destroyed, but the last Banshee is diminished. And yeah, I fall um, unconscious and drop the lantern. And the lantern is dropped. We go to uh, <laughs> legendary action. Oh, Lucius Ford. Oh. Clara will use life drain to cause one automatic failure. It is not a crit because it's not a melee attack. Ah. But it's a source of damage, so Lucius automatically takes one failure. Quill. Yeah, you knew I was going next. Um, <clears throat> I will fly over to Lucius, uh, cure wounds at level four. Um, so that is uh, one, two, three, four, D eight plus six healing. Oh boy, twenty eight healing. Nice, yummy. On Lucius. Very much. Uh, and as a bonus action, <laughs> I'm going to do nothing. Bonus action, nothing. Bonus action, nothing. All right. Uh, wait, how much did I move there? One, two, three, four, 20 feet. One, two, three, four. I want to go stand next to Sentry. <laughs> I want to stand next to Sentry. Mummy. <laughs> All right. I am in between Sentry and her shield. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wiggle up there. A little bit padding. Kalara's yeah. turn. Oh, God. Seeing very injured Lucius. Oh, no. Two creeping shadow Fuck attacks. <laughs> Natural 20. Disadvantage. Oh. A two. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The aura, Quill's aura diminishing the darkness before it can even reach you. Second attack. Natural one. Oh. Quill's aura dispensing the darkness away from Lucius. Ayla. Hello. Wow. The amount of natural so, 20s that have been avoided. I can't <laughs> quite reach her. However, I'm going to move to just past Nova whilst throwing the hammer Tiangong, yep. whilst throwing the hammer at her face. Okay, go for it. Because I can't quite get there. Nope, it's fine. Hey, get that damage in while you can. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, damage. No! I rolled a two, so I miss. That is a miss, the hammer. Fuck me. Again, I'm doing like, terribly. Just with a weak kind of blast of black energy, Kalara knocks it away uh, before it strikes her. Um, I spent a level five spell slot on, the, on a similar thing. Uh, and tried twice. I've got nothing. Got nothing left. I've got nothing. Uh, using her action, uh, Kalara will target the poor down Lucius. Constitution saving throw. The creature yeah. is injured. She's going to pick on them. She smells blood in the water. Yep, still advantage. <laughs> oh, man. Two and a one. So that's. <laughs> you are in Century's Aura, so 10 necrotic goes to five. 
um, and your hit point maximum is not reduced. Sentry's aura really doing the work. Yeah. Everyone's fucking aura and shit. They too. <laughs> uh, so sentry. <laughs> um, cool. All oh, that purity. Smash her up! <laughs> I, I don't want to. You go five, ten. I can't move back though if I go to hit her. Thirty. Yeah, but Starbreaker has reach. That's oh, just reach. be in reach. But will, my, will everybody be in my aura still? Uh, no. Not everybody. I most, think actually most of them. Do 15, it. 15, 20, 25, 30, uh, Max, and Nova won't be. All right. But Max is probably like, do it! Do it! Uh, same, you know, same. Right, okay. same. Yeah, alright, I'll go. go. Yeah. I'll go do it. So I'll go do it. forward with Starbreaker. <laughs> if anybody can put the damage on yeah. right now, it's probably it's you. Century. 30 to hit. Because Nova's too far, I think. Her 30 uh, excuse me. Oh, actually, Tiangong, you can swap with yeah. Tiangong. I forgot about that. Yeah, you can switch Tiangong. Me. Well, I was just looking where your mini was. I yeah. was like, you can't get there. I can also use all my teleports now. Oh, yeah, I forgot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Roll buckaroo. And I get a d4 from Max. Yes, you do, yeah. D4 from Max as well. Let me get that d4 out. What? Cool. Wow, they really scattered. 12, 27, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 35, 38, 40, 47. First oh one. God. 47 points of damage. Same again, please. 14 plus 13. 20 something, we'll hit. 27, 27. Yeah. same again. Another level 3 divine smite. Do I get another d4 as well from Max? It's every attack. Every attack. Oh. <laughs> Sick. Uh, Just rolls 14, an entire 18, dice bag. 22. 26, 27, 28, 29, plus 4, 33, 40 for the second one. So, Sentry, as you charge forward, it is Starbreaker that breaks the throne that Kalara is sat upon. Oh, shit. And she tumbles to the ground. <clears throat> If you will not, if you will be kind enough to allow me some description. Go for, go it, for it, it, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Kalara falls from her throne. Her frail form clearly in pain and anguish. No, no mother, for once I made my own decision, why? Her body turns to shadow and rejoins the void beyond Valor's dimensional shield. And her voice calls out, you are powerful and clever champions. Defeating Zephyr, aiding Velena, with our little sister's help and your protection, you have done more than any of us could have anticipated. But I am one of Siaska's eldest, charged with one of her most important duties and given truly divine powers to accomplish it. You are still mortal champions, and I can take you somewhere even Valor cannot reach. Before you can react, the whole demiplane fills with bright white light. And after a second or two, blinking furiously, that light fades. And if you allow me, we may need to do a quick cut or carry. I need to replace the map. Don't replace it. Phase two! Oh, <laughs> this is oh, gonna take me a little God. bit of time. So wait, we were in like the shadow realm then and now We're in heaven, but we're it's in heaven. Great. Almost heaven. <laughs> so Ah uh, After a second or two, you blink furiously and the light fades. Before you, you see Erois from space. <laughs> a beautiful world surrounded by the prismatic energy of the cradle floating in the twinkling black violet expanse of the astral sea Ugh. you see distant stars and planes but as tiny brilliant points of light you stand on what appears to be pure light a golden glowing radiance in the shape of a flat disc that seems to be leaving a trail a luminous pathway 
that twists and descends back down to a rubbers. Almost like a comet. Oh. A quill. There is something very familiar about oh. this place. This view of Aroes, this sensation of light and travel. You see, at the very edge of the disc, Kalara's thin, frail form reappears, but still surrounded by that shadowy, invulnerable armor. Vala is not with you. Tiangong is not with you. And there is no lantern. So we're not in the demiplane? No. I mean, I, 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 it's not, I will, this is I not a manifestation. Quill, Quill and Nova, you are on the pathway to the light beyond, the afterlife. This is, this is the journey that one takes to death. Oh, shit. And this is not a demiplane. Kalara has been we are the guidance of physically death. here. She, she has physically brought you here, as she once did to Quill's soul. But you are here physically. Yeah. Okay. Kalara speaks. <sighs> <laughs> of course. I love to watch things grow, to see them live and flourish. I was the life bringer once. The very concept of death was like heartbreak to me. As she speaks, a swirling mass of shadows is drawn into her body. It regains its strength, her muscles, her cheeks fill, her hair grows thick and long and turns ice white from midnight black. She stands, now ten feet tall, as black plate armor begins to form around <laughs> her, sleek and angled, with streaks of glowing starlight passing through it. The mantle of vines and flowers that were once around her shoulder but withered and dead now blooms back into life and color, flowing down like a cloak around her. Why then did Mother choose this destiny for me? Did she hate me? Did she love you mortals more than she loved me? Why else would she make me endure this suffering? It matters not now. I've tried to resist my fate, tried to hide the pain I have carried in this duty, tried to care and feel for the living and the dead. I've carried their grief alongside my own in the shattered remains of my heart for too long. A black visor helm forms over oh. her eyes and flares to life with a deathly blue glow as she begins to hover, now silhouetted by Erois itself. Oh. She holds her hands out as Godric Scythe appears. No. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> my champion, my beloved knight, you knew, didn't you? You knew I suffered. I heard your prayers for me. I felt your love and your worry. But it's all right. There's no pain now. I will not hide from my destiny any longer. Gripping the scythe in both hands, she suddenly pulls her hands apart and with a flash of spectral magic, it turns into two long slender swords in each hand. <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> the scythe wasn't cool enough. <laughs> All my grief is part of me now. I cannot ever be the life bringer again. I am what she made me. I am every weeping loved one left behind. I am the regret of those taken before their time. I am Kilara, sorrow incarnate, and I will unite the living in the bliss of death before the end. Roll initiative. Oh, oh, hell yes! yes. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not rolling initiative. Yeah, I'm just take me. Take, take me. 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 You win. You win. Down. That's it. This is how I want to go. Sentry plays on the I'm all right with this. We're <laughs> not worthy. Let's go. We're not Beyond. worthy. <laughs> oh my. Oh shit. So like, uh, do we still let's have? Let's do initiative. Let's. I'll okay. cover a lot of stuff okay. in a second. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> right, uh, Lucius, please. Whole heap of nine. <coughs> Whole heap of nine. Quill. A massive nine. Nine. Oh, Ayla. Nice. Twenty. Uh, Sentry. The hugest fifteen. Fifteen. Nova. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Tiny twenty. We currently have Max on seven, <laughs> but as always, with a panic <coughs> awareness, Kalara will go first. Yeah. But before we get into all of that, uh, there are a couple of things that I must. A couple of questions as well, yeah. Namely, where is she? <laughs> uh, oh, my apologies. I haven't revealed. The second mini I desperately painted. Oh. What? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yes. Might need a, a little zoom in on her. To the podcast it. listeners. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so as I mentioned, the two twin blades, her hair now struck in white. So 
all of your stacks of Shadowbringer vanish. Nice. Woohoo! Your Hell next yeah. temporary hit points reset. Oh. Do not heal, however. <coughs> oh. But your hit okay. points oh. go back up. The bird is okay! Oh, I do, uh, ooh. Ish. For now. You do not heal. You do not heal. No, you do not heal. Just your max goes Annoyingly, back. Annoyingly, the override. Yeah, the override brought uh, it back. So you will, might need to just remember what you were on. I was on, I was on 41. My max is now 131, so I need to lose I was on 90. 90. Yeah, you're on, yeah. Yep, that checks. That checks. All right, so just keep in mind that, yeah, you just reset yourself back <laughs> to wow, the hit points you were on. Wow, that's not a lot. Uh, so no, it's not. For any of you guys, if I you had to heal Lucius as well back. last turn. Um, all right. Are we still concentrating on uh, any spells that you are concentrating on? Do you remain? Oh, thank God. Uh, <laughs> they do remain. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, this is uh, what's the bad news? Brand new, brand new encounter. Um, the bad news is that. standing right there. She's yes. not dead. <laughs> Uh, no, and in fact, she looks stronger than ever. <laughs> there it is. Physically restored, now regained with strength, and clearly martial in nature. Two, two swords, thick plate armor, formed from the very armor of shadows that once protected her. Um, oh, God. Again, I will remind you, you are free to make checks on your turn to try and figure mechanics out and things like that. There's more? Oh. Um, yeah. I thought this might have just been like a kill it. No. <laughs> There's no lantern here, right? There is no lantern. Oh, and she's still got the shadow. Oh. She got shadows. Her, she is wearing black armor. There are no, uh, there's no shadows swirling around her, but that was became her armor. It got infused into her. Right. Um, again, you don't know. Um, hmm. So. Let's some stuff out. Okay. To begin with, unless there are any more questions to get this kind of kicked off, because we we're going to kind of kick this off and maybe try and get through a round, and then uh, it's probably going to be the episode. So, but yeah. any questions before we go on? This is the, the time to ask. Uh, Tell me nicely, please. Very well. Yeah. All right. Yes, yeah, so I have any suggestion. Kill me softly. Here we go. She rushes towards you, and she will pick Ayla, the strongest oh, and most sturdy looking, <coughs> but almost as if to try and make a point with almost a dancer's kind of movements, despite wearing this thick armor, these graceful spins and swoops of her twin blades, she's gonna make three attacks with her Eclipse oh, twin boy. blades. This could Eclipse me out. twin blades! Uh, Eclipse. Does she still have disadvantage on the aura? Okay. Uh, that is still gonna be a 21 to yep. hit Ayla. Uh, is I Sorrow Incarnate use... undead? Uh, no. Don't know. Uh, she is not. That's okay. Celestial. Uh, I'm just going to use the flat damages here to cause help me save some time. That's going to be 18 slashing damage, which you would reduce to 9 because of your rage. And then 7 necrotic, which again. would half to 3. And 7 radiant damage. <laughs> cool. This is not good. Uh, 31 to hit you. Yeah. So the exact same damage again, because I'll just use the averages. So, so 9 slashing, that's pre-halved. 31 um, with disadvantage. 3 uh, necrotic, that's pre halved, and then 7 radiant. Uh, it's chipping my health right the fucking way down. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be <laughs> 23. Yes. Yep, so it's going to be the same thing again. Another 9 slashing, another 3 necrotic, and another 7 radiant. Uh, almost to prove a point, uh, she specifically targets. 46 hit points, Ayla. I was on over 100. Nova V Journal. But there's six of us. Yeah, I would like to <coughs> bonus action Hexblade curse her. Yes. And I will step up. Um, and I'm gonna do what I do. Um, but you're probably gonna be like, oh, it's like half damage. Uh, do you want to? So um, also, we can say that you can draw, like, you can draw your weapon as a oh, part yeah. of the movement. Okay, That's I was gonna fine. ask. You can just yeah. draw your weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's part of the attack action. Okay, you can so just part draw. again. Mm -hmm. But Tiangong is not here with not you. Yet. Not yet. No. no. Um, just having a little resty. 20 to hit. Will not hit. What? Yeah. <laughs> Parries it with the twin blades. That's rude. But she does actively parry. Okay, so she can be hit. She can be hit. She is defending herself. 30 to hit. Hits. Uh, so it's going to be 9, 10, 11. Um, do you want me to do breakdown of damages in terms uh, of different? Only if it is like an elemental damage. 
Well, there's the Crusader's mantle, is that? Radiance, fine. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm, if it's basically lightning, thunder, cold, fire, or acid, I need to know. Okay, so it is going to be. <laughs> is it for you? 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 points of damage. 24 points of damage. First attack. Uh, as you hit her uh, using her reaction, Dance of Sorrows, the first time Kalara takes damage, I need everybody but Quill. Got to good. make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no good. Right. Advantage. Uh, everybody gets a plus three, but Lucius and Quill. I'm not getting hit, so that's fine. Five. All right. Success. 20. Uh, 20. Uh, plus four, 14. Six. Yeah, uh, just, just 24. success. 25. Success. Uh, Wait, so you only would have passed that if you had an at 20. Yeah. Max is going to die. I had 18. No, Max was uh, So, Max and uh, Lucius, I just need to adjust Max's hit points because he was on. He was taking some does damage. it do more than one HP? It does. Uh, it's not going to kill you outright, so you are going to go down. How many hit points are we on? 28. Um, How many? Uh, 28. One. Max is two. Yeah. Yeah. He had the whole thing with the lantern. Uh, so you watch as she spins. The first time she's hit and damaged, she spins round, almost in a reaction to being hit, and it just cuts everybody, dealing damage as if she'd hit you with a melee attack. Um, that's her reaction. Continue, Kim. Um, what was the damage? Uh, it would have been the same as her attacks, so the same you took, basically. 18 slashing, and then 7, 7 necrotic and radiant. 24. So, will just Oof. hit. Okay. Um, so uh, you didn't take any damage because you just succeeded. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, it's only if you fail you take the damage. So right. the rest of you, like, Ayla, you're, like, ducking okay. under it. Sentry brings up the shield. Nova's Tiangong, like, manages to deflect the... Well, your shield actually would deflect it as well. But it did get rid of, rid of her reaction as well. Yeah. If she only has one. <laughs> Can I Eldritch smite this one? You absolutely may, if you wish. Okay, so first up, it's going to be... Um, mm. I asked for that. 22 points of damage uh, from just hitting her and then smites. Eight. Oh my god, 8876. Cool. <laughs> uh, spicy so people. Yeah. <laughs> Eight plus eight plus seven plus six is twenty-nine. Yeah. Another twenty nine <laughs> another twenty-nine <laughs> points. Yeah. Uh, when you strike, let me just I gotta do some math here. Thirty. <coughs> um when you strike her that third time, as the Eldritch Smite rakes across her armor, it catches one of these points where there's this streak of starlight and a moat of divine light is bursts out of her. Oh. oh. Wait, anything else on your turn? No, you Do you know what? I'm not gonna action surge. Okay, sure. But can I move to the moat? No, I'm not gonna move to the moat, but I just wanna circle her so I'm like maybe behind her. Right here? Yeah. Sure. End of turn? End of turn. The end of your turn, over Vija. You all hear a voice. A soft, fairly weak, but familiar, motherly voice. My poor daughter. I did not see how much this duty would break her heart. Champions, I beg you, release her from the shadows of her sorrow and the burden I have placed upon her. My form is still weak, but you are close to my domain now and I will grant you what aid I can. <gasps> you are all suddenly infused with the light of Siaska. <clears throat> you each regain 25 hit points. Oh shit, okay. A moat of light falls down from the heavens and touches each of you, giving you each one charge of moats. I didn't write these on a card, so bear, you might have to remind me to remind you. You can, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what they do, but on your turn, as a reaction, you can spend a moat to invoke the protection of Siaska to reduce damage. I won't tell you how much, 
won't tell you how it can be altered or things like that, but yeah, you can basically spend a moat to try and resist damage. You can also spend one moat as an action to make a special melee or ranged attack, uh, which you channel the light to kind of surge out from you. You can also, this is, I know this is complicated, but bear with me, as a bonus action, you can charge a moat you are holding. If you begin to charge a moat, your speed becomes zero until the end of your next turn and you automatically fail dexterity saving throws. And finally, as an action, you can expend your own moat and four charged moats of your allies to perform a unique power for each of <laughs> so we're doing that right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, gonna yeah, do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna limit break. Favorite free. episode. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, so how do we the do the best. how do we do the power move? So uh, oh my every God. your turn, as long as you have a moat, you oh. charge one of your moats as a bonus action, but you then basically <laughs> cannot move until the end of your next turn okay. and you'll you'll fail dex saving throws okay. automatically. And, oh then, and then as an action, somebody can spend their own moat and four charged moats, so four have to be pre-charged to do a special thing. It's complicated, I know, but I'll be, I will happily remind you. You want a reminder? I'll remind you. I that wanted is, to write it out. That is enough burned time. into my mind because that's just the coolest shit. <laughs> well, we will carry on. Um, and yeah, and one moat was pulled out of uh, out of Kalara when she did. Um, but I am also going to use a legendary action at the end of Nova's turn, uh, as Kalara is going to use Gallows Call. Quill, nope. I need you to make a <laughs> wisdom saving throw as she calls, come to me, child. Wisdom? Yes. Oh, Kalara. Well, mm, I don't say one. that. Uh, I have he advantage. Well, I've got, <laughs> with a plus 12, I add advantage, I got 20. It's a failure. Yeah. You are pulled next to Kalara and she makes an attack against you. Oh. Uh, that is going to be at disadvantage. Uh, 21. Shit, okay, yeah. 18 points of slashing damage. Three necrotic, which is pre-halved, and then uh, seven radiant. Huh? Post-halved. Post-halved, yeah. So, so, 18, uh, so 28 damage total. 28, so I need to beat 14 on a saving throw, yes. on a uh, concentration, concentration check, which I <sighs> do. <laughs> With 16. Okay. So she strikes you, cutting you down. You almost feel like are compelled to move towards her, and then she strikes you. Uh, Ayla. Sorry, how much damage was that again? Uh, 28, 28 total. Um, can I... Am I still raging, if I was... Yes, you are, yeah, 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 yeah. you're still raging, absolutely. Okay. Um, in which case, I will heat her. Yes. Please. Uh, uh, it's probably not gonna hit, though. That's a 20. 20 does not hit. Um, 16 plus 15. That will hit. Four from other people. Uh, Seventeen on the hammer, three lightning. The lightning is halved. The deck so save. The lightning's turn. always halved. Uh, deck saving throw I will make uh, this time, and that is going to be 32. Seventeen lightning damage. Uh, so half to eight. I'm so weak. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. When you get when you get the hit, <sighs> do a ton of damage. However, on that second everyone. with that second Can strike, I... another moat is. Can I charge my moat? Because I'm not moving. Uh, you could. Yeah. You will auto fail deck, so. So you watch. So what this is, uh, Ayla, is as you strike. You have to basically plant your feet, and Ayla begins to glow. Bright light, like starlight, collects around Ayla. You feel this presence, like you instinctively know, like you're concentrating on your allies. You're basically concentrating on the connections between you, like preparing yourselves. Um, uh, all right, end of turn. Yep. All right. Uh, as a action. Clara is going to become insubstantial like a ghost and she will pass through 
to the other side of Max and Sentry. Max and Sentry and Ayla, it doesn't matter, but Max and Sentry, your movement is reduced by 10 feet until the end of your next turn. Um, and she just phases through you as a legendary action. I'm guessing we don't get attacks of opportunity. You do not, but... no. Um, and uh, I don't think we'll, we'll try and get through it. Sentry. All right, I'm going to make two attacks against Kalara. Okay. So first one. 13 plus 13, 26 to hit. Does hit. Nice. Right, I'm going to do a level 4 Divine Smite. Okay. Bam! And with Max's Crusader's Mental man Steel as well. Yes. Got a bunch of ones for butt. Oh, actually, I need to make a concentration check for that. Uh, 10. Yes, 30 30 Okay, 32 plus 7, 38 for the first one. 38 points. That's level 4 gone. Nice. Uh, give me a second here. Yep. Cool. Carry on. Same again. Uh, as Sentry Strikes, another mode of light emerges. Okay. Okay. Got 31 to hit for that one. S strikes. Hell yeah. Same again, another four of these. We'll another level four divine smite. Oh, that's better. Let's see. Two. Six. Nine. Just dropping little XP orbs. <laughs> 13, 17, 20, 23, 26, 37, plus 7, 40, 1. That's one worth of damage. Is that enough for another moat as well? Uh, I believe so. Jeez. I'm going to have to roll, see how far it goes. That's really this one. Oh, so they go random distances from yeah. that. Okay. Cool. So yeah, you strike twice. Another more moats. Nice. She um, just cracks her neck. Just like, it will not be enough. Not before the end. I will start charging my moat as a bonus action. Sentry Plant begins my pulsing. Plant it into Absolutely. To the ground. Uh, at the end of your turn, Sentry, Kalara is going to make an attack against you. Rock and roll. Disadvantage. Natural 20 and then not a natural 20 for 23. That will hit 18 slashing damage, mm -hmm. um, three necrotic, 10 radiant it is 28 damage. 20 damage. If you don't have any other resistances apart from the necrotic, so 28 points of damage. Um, if you have a concentration spell up, I need yep. you to make DC 14 concentration. Ooh. Nine plus seven with advantage. Yeah, that passes anyway. Passes, yes, Lucius. Lucius is going to do a level seven chromatic orb at her. Uh, yes, you are. Well, you are. That's right. You got healed, so you're yeah, currently, you're currently primed. Yep. But... Uh, and yeah, so before I do the chromatic orb, I'll stand up, uh -huh. which I have fifteen yep. movement. 15 movement. I'll pick up that move. That's just going to go straight to you. You now have two. I'm not going to chromatic orb. I'm going to charge the moat. It's a bonus action. It's a bonus right? action. Yep. Yeah. And then chromatic orb. Okay, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll roll a real T20. 8 plus 12, 20. No. It's not enough. Seeking spell. Okay. Natural 20! Oh, three! Oh, three Wait, today. you seventh level chromatic orb. That's so spicy. How many so much that? Damage. 98. Max. Oh. So that's 72, 72 damage. Plus, roll it again. 72 oh. plus 98. I swear. You guys get clutch rolls when you need them, which is great storytelling. I love it. 41. So 100 13. and... 113. 113. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, oh, well, a couple of things happen before you get your boop, turn, boop, Will. Boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> Two moats. Come As these moats are flying out, though, is this having any effect on her? No. No, she's just... It's not, like, diminishing her. It's, uh, oh, my God. Uh, moats! <laughs> moats just flew out of Mark. <laughs> what so, happens when a you couple of things happen. <laughs> you summon this chromatic orb of cold or acid? Cold. Cold. Yeah. Avoiding the resistance, you like the frost, the rime coats her as she struggles against this blast of arctic wind. No. No. Time runs out for you, champions. She vanishes. She reappears 
60 feet in the void beyond the disc. And she throws her hand to the side as 11 duplicates of Kalara. <laughs> oh, Every yes. piece of clock appears around her and they all bring a blade ready to dash yeah. forward and oh, strike. Oh, yeah. sick. That is where we're going to wait. Yes! Oh, okay. so cool. We'll see you for the next episode of High Rollers. Catch you then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. God.